This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, April 10th, 2012. I'm your host, Peter Bush, in the Fenice Monitor today. We'll talk to Megan Romano. She just set a new American record in the 200-yard freestyle. And Megan joins us right now in the Fenice Monitor from Athens, Georgia. Megan, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. You know, I, I can't say that I saw that record being broken in March. Yeah. Were you surprised? I was very surprised. Um... I mean, my best time before that was the meet before SECs when I went to 143.0. So being able to go 141.2, but four, three, four weeks later, I mean, I was very surprised, but I was, I'll take it. I was happy. Okay. So how does that happen? Is it the adrenaline of the big meet? Were you not fully tapered at SECs and it really kicked in? I mean, explain how you dropped that much time for the big meet. Um, I mean, I definitely wasn't fully tapered for SECs. Uh, this year's training has just been going really, really well. And I knew like I just had to do it for my team and we were really trying to win this year. And I knew I had to, had to step it up and um, just go really fast. And I did. And I looked up at the scoreboard and I was like, whoa. <laughs> All right, good. I wasn't the only one who was surprised. <laughs> uh, tell us for swimmers who might be watching, you know, 200 freestylers especially, how do you map out that race? Um. I mean, in the past, I've always been like a just, just take it out and whatever happens, happens, meaning I usually like die then. <laughs> but um, I, this year, I kind of played with it a little bit more, just meets throughout the season. I would like try and take it out slower, save my legs for the end and um, just try different things. And at SECs, uh, I kind of laid back a little bit on the first half and just kicked it in the second half. And NCs, I just, I mean, I took it out, but... I took it out and didn't die at the end, so, I mean, that was good. I guess it's just all the training has been paying off, and uh, I, just, I just went all out. I guess we shouldn't be totally surprised. I mean, last year at World University Games, split, I think it was a 157 on the relay for the Americans. I mean, that's a heck of a swim, so we sort of saw this coming, that this was going to be a breakout year for you. Um, relays are something I really enjoy just because, I mean, it's, more of a team thing and I just get so pumped up for relays and I've always been good on relays and I've had some of my fastest times on relays but yeah world university games really boosted my confidence and just coming into this year I just really wanted to help my team and it it worked yeah I would say you enjoy relays you split 46 flat <laughs> and 100 free too we should not overlook that yeah um that was definitely I mean Something I found out later, Jack had actually told me, and he was like, I think that might be the fastest split ever, and he went over to Terry McKeever and asked her if, uh, if Natalie had ever done it, and she's like, no, I don't think so. So, I mean, that's a big accomplishment for me, and uh, it's, it's fast. Well, he, he was smart then because we wasted time going like through the history books, but he probably just figured, well, if anybody had done it, it's Natalie, so I might as well just go ask her coach. That was smart. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing you like swimming relays because um, you know, there's a little talk about you making a relay team or two this summer. Yeah. The way you're going. Uh, you, do you like that talk? I mean, it's got to be exciting to know that you're in the Olympic conversation now. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I don't really have any pressure. I mean, like friends and family here and they'll be like, oh, I can't wait to see you. But like, besides that, I mean, I feel like all the pressure is off and I just go there and see what I can do. And um. Hopefully it works out. I mean, it'd be pretty cool to comp compete in London, um, but we'll see. You will swim the 100 and the 200, I imagine, at trials? Yeah, definitely the 100 and the 200. Maybe like throwing 100 back or something, but definitely the 100 and 200. That will be an epic 100 free final in, yeah. in Omaha. I mean, America's depth right now all of a sudden is just incredible in that 100 freestyle. Yeah, I mean, just looking at past Grand Prix meets, like meet records being broken here and there, and just every Grand Prix, I feel like, has been incredibly fast. So we'll see what happens. Well, I know you didn't accomplish the team goal this year of winning. And I know also that there's been some talk by people like myself that Cal is certainly poised for a great run. They've won two in a row and look good. But, you know, I, was, I talked to Jack a lot at the meet, um, or excuse me, at the men's meet, but looking back on the women's meet, and he said, 
you know, not so fast. We're going to be really, really good next year. We've got Allison coming back. We've got a great freshman class coming in. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we didn't exactly – I mean, we got a second. It's not really how I wanted to end the meet. But, I mean, I was very happy with how everyone swam. And we have Brittany and Chantel and, like, Allison coming back. And, I mean, Annie and, like, all these people. Um, I mean – Brittany just made the Canadian Olympic team like a couple days ago and she's been swimming out of control so I think with all these people coming in next year and how everyone's been swimming on the team currently I think we pretty much I don't want to say have it in the bag but I mean I really want to win it's my last year to win a championship and I really want to go for it so warning shot to Cal right there is that what that was of course <laughs> <laughs> uh, Megan what do you study Sociology. Sociology. What do you want to do when you grow up? I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> I have no clue. Um, it's okay. You're not alone on that one either. <laughs> Good. Well, Megan, thanks a lot for joining us. Congrats on an amazing junior year. Good luck this summer. Thank you. All right. That's Megan Romano joining us from Georgia. That's it for today's show. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.